One of the seven properties of life is energy processing. This hummingbird is obtaining food energy from the plants and will utilize that energy for activity, such as flight. The flow of energy starts from the sun, and only producers can capture the sun's light energy and convert it into chemical energy. Producers are organisms that can make their own food, for example, plants. The bird or other organism that consume the producers are called consumers. Organisms that cannot make their own food, so they need to obtain food by obtaining it from other organisms, or producers. The flow of energy has transferred from the sun to the plants and then to the bird. Other organisms can feed off the bird, like bigger animals such as the snake. In this case, the snake is also a consumer. Then this would make the hummingbird the primary consumers. The snake would be a secondary consumers. Now the flow of energy will transfer from the bird to the snake. There can also be tertiary consumer that eats the snake. All of these organisms will also produce heat as a waste product. Heat is produced when the organisms are active. All of those heat will be lost into the atmosphere. So energy can be converted to different form but eventually it will be lost to the atmosphere. As long as the sun exists, it can sustain life on Earth. Another word often used that is the same as producer is autotrophs. This is more scientific. Auto is self and troughs mean feeders. So autotrophs are self-feeder. Keep that in mind as you will see it again in the future. Another word often used that is same as consumer is heterotroph. Hetero means different and troughs means feeder. So heterotrophs feed on other organisms like the bird and the snake. 